All right. And away we go. Welcome to another recharge class. Sorry, it's a little dark in here. I closed the windows behind me so that hopefully you can see the board a little better as we do our what's my snack today. And then we'll get rolling with our workout. We got some fun stuff to do today. Plus we got a special guest, my little buddy, Lucas, right there. All right, so what's my snack today? My snack today is Peach ice pops, okay, one full cup of full fat vanilla yogurt, a cup of berries, your choice, it could be just strawberries, raspberries, it could be mixed, anything you want, make sure that they're thawed, and then one and a half cups of peeled peaches, so canned peaches work just fine, anything like that, as long as they're not super sweetened. You put the peaches in a blender, blend it all up, pour it into a popsicle thing, you put the yogurt in there, and then blend the berries up and put it at the bottom. So like my little popsicle guy here, you get a cool little layered popsicle uh, with the kids being out of school here pretty soon. This will be a nice little sweet treat that's not super bad for you. As you can see, only 65 calories per serving. Not too bad for a nice cold treat on a hot summer day with the kids running around, okay? And because it's popsicles and that's our snack today, I looked up some popsicle stick jokes. Oh, we all remember those. So what do you do when your fish sounds bad? That's our question. Like a popsicle, you will get your answer at the end of class. All right, so we're going to start with our nice deep breath. Let's put our hand on our chest, one on our belly. We're going to do our six seconds in, four second hold, and then explosive out. So here we go in for one, two, three, four, five, six. Hold one, two, three, four. Good, let it out. One more. In for one, two, Three, four, five, six. Hold for one, two, three, four, and let it out. Beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So to start today, we're going to get in our glute bridge position. Okay, so on our backs, heels into our glutes as close as we can. Okay, we're going to drive through the hips. Use your hands as support. We're gonna do 10 of these all at once. So what we're gonna do, drive up nice and high, hold at the top, make sure your core is tight, squeezing your glutes, squeezing your hamstrings. Let yourself down nice and slow. Once your glutes tap that floor, drive right back up, nice and high. Make sure you're squeezing those glutes. Let yourself down, tap, drive up. Good, that's number three. Down, up, four, down, up, five, good, down, up, six, down, up, seven, down, up eight, down, up nine, and down, and up for 10. Hold that last one. The reason we're holding a little longer today is time under tension. Helps us grow muscle even when we don't have weight. And down, nice and easy. Nice. Going from there, we're going into our bent knee hamstring. So straighten out your left leg. We're going to grab behind our right leg, grabbing behind your hamstring. Take that leg up nice and straight, as straight as you can. As Lucas says, ow. Hamstrings are tight. Down. I didn't say ow. Up. Ow. Down. Up, 
Just get that leg as straight as you can. Down, up. One more, down and up. Good, and then switch your leg. So right leg goes out straight, left leg comes into your chest. Kick that leg up nice and straight. Down, up. So as you can see, adding your kids into your workout. Down, up is definitely doable if you uh, don't need a break from them. We never need breaks from kids down, up, but this is a good way to keep them moving this summer as we all still have work and they are now out of school. Down, up, so we can help burn off some of that energy. Down, up, and relax, nice work, all right. Next, what we're going into is what I lovingly call a bear roll. So we're gonna get into that quad position, okay? So hands go under our shoulders, knees go under our hips. We're gonna find that nice neutral spine by getting ourselves locked in, okay? From here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bridge up on my toes. So I'm gonna come up on my toes so that my knees are just hovering off the ground. Now I'm gonna take my left leg, I'm gonna push it underneath my right leg, and I'm gonna reach up to the sky. This is similar to when we do our get up, okay? If that's too much, you can always sit down and reach just like you can there, but it saves your shoulder a little bit. But I would like to see you here. And then we're gonna rotate back to our bear crawl position, and then we're gonna to switch to the other side. So now my right leg is gonna sit through and reach the sky. Good, we're just gonna hold for a second, come back to center, sit through and reach. Again, if you need to, sit your glutes down to the ground, that's fine. Back to bear crawl, sit through the other way. I'm always looking where my hand is going to help keep myself in a good position. Back to bear crawl, last one, sit through. Air crawl, sit through, and bear crawl. Beautiful. All right, up on our feet, okay? The next one, just to get our heart rate up a little bit before we go through our flow. Normally our Thursday workout is our strength. Today is our movement quality class. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get our heart rate up a little bit to help with burning off some of that energy, getting our muscles ready to rock and roll. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get into a base position. Okay, base position, sitting my butt back, soft knees, okay, hands go in front. I'm never gonna let my feet come together because if I did, right, Lucas, put your feet together. If our feet come together, we're easy to tip over, okay? Okay, so here we go, base position, Okay, from that base position, all we're gonna do together, we're gonna move to the left, okay? Step, 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 stop. We're gonna switch directions. Now going to the right, step, 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 pause. Good, so we're gonna go left, then we're gonna go right. Go as fast as you would like, but remember, if your feet come together, I'm mentally tipping you over, okay? So don't let your feet come together. Get in your good base position, hands in front, like you're about to guard Steph Curry on the basketball court, okay? Left first, left, 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 pause. Good, right, 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 pause. Left, 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 pause. Right, 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 pause. One more time, left, right, oh, left, right, and relax. Nice work. I, one time I did this. Yep, I saw that. All right, now going into our flow pattern. So what we're gonna start with, we're gonna go squat hold, hand walk, then we're gonna go shoulder tap, down dog, toe touches, and then lunge to stand. Okay, we're gonna try to get through it at least two times, maybe three if we're lucky. Then we'll go into our cool down and quotes and all that good stuff, okay? 
So squat. We all know squat, shoulder width, toes pointed forward. Okay, from here, we're just gonna squat down. You can have your hands in front of you, you can put them overhead wherever you want them, but we're just gonna hold in this squat. Three, two, one, come up. Good, down again one more time into that squat. Three, two, one. Good, now go down into our hand walk, okay? Now I'm gonna step in front of Lucas. We're gonna hand walk out into our plank position. Beautiful, from there, shoulder tap. I'm gonna go right arm, left shoulder. Good, switch hands, left arm, right shoulder, staying in that plank position. Beautiful, hand down. Press up into our down dog. Okay, holding. Now reaching your right hand to your left toe as close as you can and hold. Good, hand back, staying in down dog. Reaching your left hand to your right toe. Beautiful. Hands back, come back into that plank position. We're gonna do that three position push up now, okay? Top, we're gonna hold for three, two, one. Halfway down. Three, two, one. All the way down. Three, two, one. Push all the way up. Down dog. Rock your feet back and forth, bend those knees. Alternate your feet a couple of times. Try to drop a little lower in through those shoulders. Straighten those legs out as much as you can. Now we're gonna step our right leg so you can lift it and then swing it forward into that lunge position. Okay, from that lunge position, make sure you drive your hips down, okay? Don't stay super rounded. Drive those hips down. Drop that knee to the ground, sit up nice and straight, arms go up, and stand up. Okay, now we go back into that reverse lunge, hands go to the inside of our leg, straighten that back leg, and now we're going to kick our right leg back, back into down dog. Alternate those feet. Now left leg goes up nice and high, swing it forward into that lunge position. Make sure again, lock those hips in, nice and strong through the chest. Drop that back knee, come to a half kneeling position, arms go up. We're gonna stand all the way up to a stand. Reverse lunge. Hands go to the inside. Coming into that strider stretch. Make sure again your hips are locked in. Kick it back. Down dog. And then let's walk those toes forward as far as you can. Roll up. Nice and tall. That's one. All right. Oh yeah, we're doing good for time. We'll get two for sure. Okay, now. Going into that squat position. When you are doing it inside, and again, I know we said we were gonna go outside, but it's pouring down rain, it's Oregon. What do you expect? Make sure you wear proper clothes. It's hot in here. All right, here we go. Deep squat and pause at the bottom. Three, two, one, and stand. Good, squat down, hold. Three, two, one. From there, hand walking out. Again, I'm gonna to turn to the front. Here we go, so I'm in good position so you guys can see everything locked in. From here, shoulder tap. Right arm goes to left shoulder. Just hold for a second. Good, set it down. Now right, 
or left arm goes to right shoulder. Beautiful. Set it down. Drive those hips up nice and high. Down dog position. Reach your right hand to your left toe as close as you can. Good. Right hand down. Left arm to right toe as close as you can. Good. And bring it back. Back into that plank position. ISO push up. Okay, if you have to do them from your knees, that's fine. Wherever you're comfortable. Here we go. Down. Halfway. Three, two, one. All the way down. Three, two, one. And press back up. And hold. Push back into that down dog. Alternate those feet a couple of times if you need to. Right leg goes up. Swing it forward into that lunge position. Make sure you're set into your lunge. Drop that back knee. Come to that half kneeling position. Arms go up. Stand up. Reverse lunge. Hands go down. Straighten that back leg. Make it active, nice and strong. You're trying to spread the floor apart between you. Kick that right leg back into our down dog. Alternate those feet. Left leg up. Swing it through. Lunge position. Drop that knee. Come that half kneel. Arms go up. Stand up nice and tall. Good. Reverse lunge. Hands go down for that strider stretch. Straighten that back leg. Make it active. Nice and strong here. Good. Press your left leg back. Down dog. And walk those toes all the way forward and roll up. Beautiful. So one more. Bonus round. Okay. A little quicker this time. We're not going to hold in each position. Okay. Now you guys know the flow. So I am going to point towards you this time. Okay. So I'm just going to stay forward facing. We're going to bust through this last bonus round. And we're going to go into our cool down stuff. Here we go. Deep squat. Down to that deep squat. Three, two, one. Straight into our hand blocks. Okay, good. Shoulder tap right, set it down. Shoulder tap left, set it down. One more time on each side. Shoulder tap right, beautiful. Shoulder tap left, nice down dog. Let's go right toe, left toe. I'm off, off but that's okay. Right toe, left toe. Beautiful, come down. Let's go two regular push-ups. Your normal push-ups, however you do them. No pause. Back into that down dog. Let's just go strider stretch on each side. So right leg, kick it through. We're just going here to that strider stretch. If you want, go world's greatest, point towards the sky. Hand down. Good, kick that leg back into down dog. Go left leg up. Kick it forward, strider stretch. So you can stay here, or if you want, world's greatest, point your hand to the sky. Good, hands down, step back. Now let's walk those toes forward and come up nice and tall. Now we got the juices flowing. I'm sweating a little bit. That's a good thing. All right, now. I want you to go down to your knees this time, okay? So yes, I'm picking your spot this time. I want you to just go ahead and sit on your knees, however you can be comfortable, okay? If you wanna go crisscross applesauce, if you wanna sit on your knees, however you're comfortable. But we're gonna do our couple of breaths, just to slow things down, that way I can talk. And then we are going to go into a couple of finishers, just some 
little core work and a little rotational, okay? So go ahead, four seconds in, four seconds hold, four seconds out, and repeat. So in for one, two, three, four, hold. One, two, three, four, out. One, two, three, four. In, one, two, three, four, hold. One, two, three, four, out. One, two, three, four. One more time. In for one, two, three, four, hold. One, two, three, four, and out. One, two, three, and four. Beautiful. All right, what we're going to do now, going into our 90-90 position. Okay, 90-90, get curled up into that little bit of a fetal position. Let's go 90 degrees at our hip here, between our body and our hip. And 90 degrees from our thigh to our lower leg, okay? So get into as close of a 90-90 position as you can. And what we're going to do here, my left arm is pointing towards you. I'm going to take my right arm and I'm going to slide my arm across my body. I'm going to open my chest up. And I'm keeping my hand right here on my pec. I'm helping myself rotate through that T-spine. Now I'm going to drive that hand straight up towards the sky. I'm going to reach that hand straight up towards the sky as far as I can. Then I'm going to drive my shoulder towards the sky. And then I'm going to drive that shoulder back down towards the floor. I'm going to bend my elbow. I'm going to pretend like I have a super heavy weight. I'm pulling down towards the floor. I'm going to try to touch my elbow behind my back. I will not be able to. You might not either. You'll feel that tight pinch in your shoulders and your T-spine unless you're super mobile, which most of us aren't. Then we're gonna push that hand straight back up, lift that shoulder, and again, drive that shoulder back, drive that elbow back down towards the floor. You're pulling the world down into this position, using that weight, that intention to stretch yourself out. One more, reach and pull. Each time you should get a little better, and that's perfect. And good, switching sides. Here we go, 90-90. Okay, getting that good 90-90. Make sure you're set up right. My hand goes out, my right hand towards you guys. I'm gonna slide my hand right down my arm, across my chest, opening things up. I will be a little looser on this side as some people will have a tight side and a loose side. This is definitely my little bit looser side. So I'm gonna reach that arm towards the sky. And then with intention, grabbing that heavy weight over your head, I'm gonna drive that shoulder down into its socket. And I'm gonna reach that elbow towards the floor behind me. Try to keep my knees together. Good, press to the sky. Pull it down with intention, drive that shoulder into its socket and reach. I'm also turning my head and I'm looking back behind me, trying to help with that rotation. Good, press, last one. And pull it down into position. Almost touch on this last one. I touched on all of them. Good job. And press. Beautiful. Rolling to our back. We're going to go dead bug position. Okay, so dead bug position. Arms go over our head. Coming into our dead bug position, like so. And what we're going to do, again, pretending like you have a steering wheel in your hand. When my left leg goes out, I'm gonna rotate my left arm towards my right side. So if I'm looking at my thumbs, I'm gonna rotate my thumb towards you guys and reach over my head. Pretend like there's a steering wheel. With your thumbs out, it's gonna point 
away from the leg that's going out. The left leg goes out. I turn my steering wheel towards the right and I reach over my head. Good, come back to center. Now I'm going right leg out. So I turn my steering wheel towards the left. Almost went the wrong way. And bring it back, good. Two more on each side, so left. Back, right. Back, good, left. Back and right and back. Beautiful. Go ahead, find a nice comfortable position. You can either lay out, you can stay in this almost glute bridge position, palms up towards the sky. Nice deep breaths. I want you to fill from the low part of your belly all the way up. Think of it as a water glass. Fill the water glass all the way to the top. And then I want you to empty that water glass all the way down. Don't leave anything left in you. So however long you want that breath to take in and out, that's on you. I just want you to sit and relax for a moment. I know it's not Monday, but today sure felt like a Monday. So what I want you to do is with intention, I want you to fill your glass with the good, bring all those good energies in, fresh air, all those good thoughts, stress relieving ideas, and then I want you to push all the negatives out. So as you're emptying your lungs, emptying out all that nasty carbon dioxide, all that stuff that we don't need anymore in our bodies, think of that as your pathway to get rid of all those negative thoughts, anything that you've been holding on to. And as you breathe in, let's fill it back up with all that good stuff. And just follow that breath like waves of the ocean, bringing in the new good, pushing out the old. I want you to just kind of focus on that wave feel in your body. So filling up, emptying out. Just focus on that. I'm going to give you guys your quote of the day. And then I'll tell you to come back before I give you the joke because I want you to be able to pay attention to it. Okay, but our quote of the day today is from Tim Tebow. Okay, comfort zone is the own, is the one of the greatest enemies of human potential. So staying in your comfort zone is what can hold us back. So as many times as uh, as as much as you can, you should push yourself to outside your comfort zone. So in fitness, in life. Anytime you can take that little bit extra and move past it, it's just going to help you get better and better every time. So go ahead and roll over to your right side. Come on up nice and slow to your knees, or you can come to a stand, whatever you would like. But let's go ahead and take a nice deep breath in. Reach to the sky. Look to the sky. And then let it out. Let's go one more time in all the way up because we gave ourselves so much positive energy today. Let's go ahead and bring our hands down into what all us yoga teachers like to talk about is heart center. Take one more nice deep breath in and out. Thanks guys for coming. As always, if you ever need to chat, go ahead and let me know. I'd love to connect with you. If you have any good ideas, anything like that, email me jokes, uh, tips of the day, quotes you like, snacks you're doing, let me know. The more interaction I get, the better this class gets. I appreciate you all. Hopefully it's nice enough that Thursday we can get outside. If not, we'll be back here. Again, thank you for everything. Go make those popsicles. Tell me how you like them, what you put in them, and we'll go from there. All right. Next week, we will also have our dietitian, Diane, jumping on a couple of the calls to help us with our tip of the day and our snacks. So look forward to that. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. Thank you for everything. Let me know if you need anything. Have a great rest of your day. Oh, yeah. Joke, my son, good thing he's here. What?
What was the joke? What do you do when your fish sounds bad? You tuna fish. Yes. Oh, good one. Popsicle joke. All right, talk to you guys later.